Hi, my name is Brooke Haggerty. Welcome to today's episode of For the Love of Food. Or should I say today, for the welcome to today's episode of For the Love of Soup. Soup is one of my favorite, favorite things to eat. It's one of my favorite things to make. I just love soup. 365 days a year, I could eat soup. Morning, noon, and night, practically. I am just a love, love, lover of soup. Well, today we're going to do a nice little interesting twist on a broccoli soup, a broccoli cheese soup. We're going to be using broccoli slaw. We're going to be using a little bit of cheddar cheese. We're going to be using some white beans, believe it or not, uh, a little bit of white beans in our soup. And then, of course, we're going to start with the mirepoix, the holy trinity of most every soup you have out there. Carrots, celery, and onions. It's two parts onions to one part celery, one part carrot. I already have some over here cooking on the stove top. So simmering down in just a little bit of olive oil. We're letting those cook down for about five to seven minutes. Just gonna sweat that down, a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add to it two of my favorite ingredients, a little bit of lemon pepper, and a little bit of truffle salt. We're going to be a little liberal with our truffle salt today because the our liquid that we're going to be using today is a low-sodium vegetable broth. This soup, until we add this cheese to it, is going to be completely vegan, and you would never guess it. It's going to be nice and thick and creamy and delicious, and you're going to be like, where does that, cheese, where does that cream come from? Well, wait till you see where that cream comes from. Okay, so we've got here... Again, our carrot, carrot, celery, and onion sweating down. I'm taking a little shortcut today, and the shortcut that I'm taking is instead of using whole broccoli, I'm using broccoli slaw. This is broccoli slaw with red cabbage and some shaved carrots in there. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna cook down nice and easy in our soup. It's gonna take so it'll take some a little bit less time. We're all gonna also be using using as our seasoning today some beautiful fresh rosemary and what i'm going to do with the rosemary is i'm just going to take it peel it right off the stem here and i'm going to give it a nice nice rough cut and we're just going to add that right to our mirepoix again the mirepoix is in most soups a lot of sauces carrot celery and onion two parts onion one part celery one part carrot very rarely do i make a soup that does not have these ingredients in it. So there's some rosemary. I'm going to put a little bit more rosemary in there to cut to cook down with that. And you're going to see I'm going to reserve the stalk on my rosemary because I'm going to throw that in there to cook because I think it, the woodiness of that stalk as it's cooking down when in the broth, I think it adds a little something extra. It might just be in my head, but if it is, oh well. It's what I like. And again, cooking is subjective. I know I talk about that all the time, but I try and tell that to people. I try and really push that on people. Cooking is about experimenting. It's about enjoying. It's about loving what you're doing. Okay, so look, there we go. We've got some, the carrot, celery, onion, and rosemary down there cooking. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add this broccoli slaw, a few handfuls of this. Let me stir some of that up a little bit now. This is a relatively quick soup to cook. It should take about 20, 25 minutes from start to finish. And a very, again, a very, very filling meal. It's gonna be high in protein with the addition of the white cannellini beans. Okay, that's stirred up. Let me add a little bit more in here. See the beautiful, rich colors in there. I love adding the cabbage in there from the broccoli slaw. It's just going to give a little extra pop of color when you see the soup come out as when it's finished. I don't know if you can hear that sizzle, but the sizzle smells. It smells as good as it sounds, and I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add just a touch more extra virgin olive oil to this. Again, you want to use a high quality extra virgin olive oil 
when you're cooking. It makes all the difference in the world. And you want to store it in a cabinet. You want your olive oil to be stored in a dark place. Or if you're at the grocery store, buy the olive oil that's in a can or in a dark glass container. I'm fortunate enough that at the restaurant, what I we our olive oil comes in a cardboard box. So it's got great, it's got a little spout on it. So we're like a box of wine, I got a box of olive oil, which is always fun. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook down just a couple of minutes here. We're gonna start playing with our with our cannellini beans. This is a canned white cannellini beans. We're gonna rinse this and drain it because we wanna get rid of the extra sodium. You can use, if you want, you can soak your own white beans. I was just taking a little shortcut today because I did not soak my beans last night. So I've got two cans of beans here. This is what's gonna provide the creaminess in our soup. I can't wait for you to see what this does. We're gonna, we're gonna let these beans, okay, they're rinsed. We're gonna let them finish draining off a little bit. We're gonna go back over. Wow. Smells really, really good. The nice thing about using the broccoli slaw is that it does cook quicker for you, which is always a nice thing when you're in, in a hurry for something. Um, so you've got those long slivers rather than cooking the big stock, the big stalks of broccoli or long pieces of floor or big pieces of florets. This is a little bit easier. We'll cook down a little bit more. You'll see I added the rosemary along with the stem. We're going to take that, we'll take that stem out in a little bit. But for right now, that's going to stay in there. This is cooking nicely. It's got nice flavor to it. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add our beans. Pour our beans right in there. We're going to let our beans heat through. As you can see, this is a beautiful, bright, colorful dish. The mirepoix, the carrots, the celery, the onions, the addition of the rosemary. And then, of course, we add the broccoli slaw in, the broccoli with the beautiful long shreds of broccoli with the long shreds of the red cabbage and more carrots. And then the white beans. So this, is, to me, this would be a lovely stir fry just as it is if you wanted to go ahead and put it in your wok. Fantastic. Let's let that cook down. <clears throat> As I said, this is going to be a, it's a vegan meal up to now. Um, and we're going to keep it vegan by using vegetable broth. This is a store-bought vegetable broth. Of course, always feel free to make your own vegetable broth. It, it's a little bit time consuming. You want to cook down your carrot, celery, onion, bay leaf in water and let it just cook, 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 reduce, cook, 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 reduce. This is a nice alternative. And this is actually an organic one. So we're gonna put it in here. We're gonna actually add a little bit of water probably to this as well. As this dish is gonna stand, again, we're at the vegan. We're gonna finish it off with some beautiful sharp cheddar cheese though. So let me go ahead and stir this one more time here. As you can see, we've been cooking for about six minutes here. I'm going to turn it up some. You can hear that sizzle. Oh, this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful full-bodied soup. Serve this with a big piece of crusty bread or a nice, rich, hearty salad of kale and arugula. I mean, you've got a meal for sure, so at least as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add my vegetable broth in here now. You can make as much or as little of this as you like. Get my heat up to high there. This is a soup that will freeze beautifully. Okay. 
I'm going to add just a touch of water to this. Just use, I'm going to use my, my, my vegetable stock box and add some more water. I'm going to let this cook. Look how gorgeous this is. Okay, let's let this come up to a boil. I'm going to clean my kitchen area up a little bit. Let this cook down. And in about eight minutes, we're going to make this a beautiful, creamy, delicious broccoli soup. Okay, so my soup has been cooking now, down now for about 10 minutes. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. I'm very excited about this. What I've done is a couple times I've stirred it and added a little salt and pepper as needed. Again, we're going with that. Cooking is subjective. You want it to have the flavors that you like. The lemon pepper, the truffle salt. There's already that beautiful fresh rosemary in there. If there's any of your favorite seasonings you want to add to it, by all means, add them. So, why don't you see, we've got this nice bubble. Oh my gosh, look at how creamy that looks and delicious. And where's my rosemary leaf? There's my rosemary, part of my rosemary stem. Let me find the rest of my rosemary stem and then we're gonna, we're gonna pull this off and we're gonna puree this. And by pureeing it, it's gonna have that nice creamy Maybe that was all on my stem. I think that was all on my stem. Let me go ahead and pull, come over here. Take this off the heat. Again, take a look at that, how beautiful looking that is. We've got the beans, the carrot, the cabbage, the broccoli, the carrot, the celery, the onion. It's beautiful, but it's not creamy like I said. Remember I said this was gonna be nice and creamy? In steps. One of my favorite kitchen tools is the Immersion Blender. I love my Immersion Blender. It just goes right down in, you stir it around, and boom, do you have a beautiful, creamy, delicious soup. So here we go, putting that right in there. Remember, our vegetables are still cooking because the heat is still going. You can see what the Immersion Blender is doing. Even if I just hold it still, you see it moving around. It's, uh, it's creating this gorgeous, gorgeous cream sauce. That's the cannellini beans are being, uh, the starch from them is coming out and giving us a nice creamy texture. You can make this as creamy as you want. If you want to leave it a little chunky, you can leave it a little chunky. Again, as it stands right now, a completely vegan meal. And when I say meal, I mean meal because it's got the protein from the beans. You've got your vegetables. You know, your beans also act as a starch in there. So absolutely fantastic. And it's got gorgeous color. Wow. I'm going to make mine nice and smooth. But you can still see the colors coming through. Wow. Again, this is about a 20, 25 minute meal from start to finish. You can make this in advance, cool it down, freeze it, pop it out, put it either in the microwave to heat it up or on the stove top. It'll slack down nice and slow. Pull it out of your freezer in the morning, put it in your refrigerator. When you come in from work, it's defrosted for you. If you tell me this doesn't look like cream of broccoli soup, this looks like cream of broccoli soup. It's gonna taste like cream of broccoli soup. It's gonna be delicious. Let me go ahead and grab a bowl here. I've got my spoon, my ladle. Oh, boy, is this gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna ladle this right into here. Again, vegan right now as it stands, we're gonna give it a little taste, but I've got my standby sharp cheddar over here because I love sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, wow. Delicious and creamy, just like that on his own. Full bodied, lots of flavor in there. That rosemary is really coming out. But I'm going to do it something different. I'm going to add 
some more cheddar cheese to this, some beautiful sharp cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna stir it right in there. You can stir this in while it's on the cooktop after you've done your immersion blender, before you've done your immersion blender, either way. And this is, see how, see how this is thickening it up? Oh my. This is just gonna add another dimension to our beautiful broccoli soup. Oh my gosh. I gotta have to have another taste of this one. The sharp cheddar cheese sets this bad boy off. Delicious vegan, amazing with the cheddar cheese. My name is Brooke Haggerty. Thanks for joining me today on For the Love of Soup.